new solution with innovation for shrimp farming without paddle wheels using aeration hose net total harvested shrimp 100 tons in 0.8 hectare or 8,000 square meter a farm owner at Drat province east part of Thailand Mr. Atasit Porat having experience in shrimp farming for decades hello today we plan to visit Mr. Atasit farm at my root sub-district, Amper Klong Yai, Drat Province. This shrimp pond has been popular among shrimp farmers because there's no paddle wheel in the system. We cannot believe that in 5 rai, 0.8 hectare, the total amount of harvesting shrimp is up to 100 tons. Farm area, including two water treatment ponds, is about 35 rai, or 5.6 hectares. Water depth of pond is about 1.7 meter. At the beginning, 4 million of shrimp lava was launched into this pond. I want to say straightforward, the principle of shrimp pond without any pedal wheel is the principle of shrimp farming. First of all, determination. Besides, being brave to change new things. A farm owner should take care consistently and follow the plan program. Another thing is an amount of oxygen. Oxygen level should not decrease lower than average. Average DO is about 5 mg per liter. But we want to make sure, so we maintain DO about 5.5 mg per liter. If it decreases lower than average point, it may affect shrimp fatality. Dissolved mineral in water should also be considered, especially alkali value should be over 200. Actual value is about 220. Water in the pond should be clean and recirculate about 50% to treatment ponds. Pond bottom area is clean as well. There's no sedimentation or shrimp waste on pond bottom because he used a principle of protein skimmer to separate waste and protein precipitate up to water surface. Then it flows to drain out at overflow tubes. He planned to partially harvest shrimp 10 times in this culturing. First 5 times of harvesting is about 50 tons. Partial harvesting has a benefit to culture shrimp after it grows in mature period. He trusted that good water quality and sufficient nutrient can lead productivity of shrimp higher than 100 tons at the end of the crop. It can be said that average density per rye is 21 tons of shrimp or 3.4 tons per hectare. What is a protein skimmer? It is for separating small organic particles on water surface by using small bubble cache those organic particles. To illustrate, let's think about boiling soup with ox bone. Protein from bone will dissolve out and flocculate to stick on pot side. Air bubble in boiled water will push these flock of protein on water surface. Organic compounds dissolving in water consist of polar and non-polar side. Due to stronger polar side, they can easily dissolve in water. To form stably in water, organic compounds will shape in ring-like and turn polar side on outer ring and non-polar inner. Therefore, to separate them out of water, air, non-polar elements should be flow into water to break this ring. Non-polar side of organic compounds will be stripped out from water by attractive energy between nonpolar and nonpolar. The smaller and finer bubble, the more efficiency of skimming processes. Finer bubbles have more area to break group organic compounds into smaller size. All stripped out organic compound will float on surface, then it will be drained out at overflow tube. How do you remove this dirt out? He desired a ground level of shrimp pond higher than treating pond. So surely, dirty water from shrimp pond will flow easily to overflow tubes without using pump. Oxygen supplying underwater system is a key part of culturing shrimp without paddle wheels. Besides, a benefit of efficient adding oxygen. This oxygen supplying can remove dirt and mix water thoroughly. Many farmers focus on these two factors. DO more than 5 and thoroughly mixing water in pond. To reach high potential of this system, O2 bubble aeration panels 
should be aligned to cover all point bottom area so suspended solid cannot sink on bottom but it will sink or be removed out only at water overflow area this can maintain water quality always clean and transparent this trim pond 0.8 hectares or 8,000 square meter is equipped of 1,500 panels of O2 bubbles aeration which have 2 meter spacing from each panel from top view its alignment looks like chairs table pattern supplying oxygen through O2 bubbles panel covers all pond bottom area except center drain to accumulate all suspended waste and flow water out. This system non-stop runs 24 hours without decreasing power of air blowers. To set the system runs smoothly and solve blackout situation in rainy season, Mr. Atasit also equipped two electric generators You can observe bubbles in this area is smaller than other sites. A farm owner set up this area for partial harvesting, so he tied aeration panels with floating PVC. It can be easy to move out during harvesting. Eight thousand cubic meter of water, or fifty percent of water in pond, will be drained out daily, and treated water will recirculate back into pond at the same amount to maintain water level. This system is designed to match pipe diameter. It will run consistently all day and night. According to pore level higher than treating pond, water will flow to treating ponds without using any water pumps. Only water pipe valves are equipped to adjust volume flow rate of draining. Another function of overflow draining tube is to remove raining water, which density is lighter than seawater from water surface. He gave a suggestion for next crop is that he want to add more overflow draining points around pond to easily control water outflow. A water inlet to pond are set each side of pond which operates 24 hours. An amount of water inlet per one tube is 80 cubic meter per hour or about 2000 cubic meter per day. Total inlet is about 8000 cubic meter. Drain out water will flow into sediment tank first, then be treated potassium permanganate, following by chlorine treatment and then flow into filtering zone by soft wall net. What is soft wall? It is a filtering net in which this pond equips six soft wall nets. Each net retards flow of large particle and sink it down to pond. Each net retards flow of large particle and sink it down to pond. Retreated water or reused water still contains some mineral. Recycling water means that you also save mineral addition. We tried using auto feeders, but we found shrimp size were too various. Therefore, we thought. Five auto feeders may not be enough for this trim density. We change feed food by using labor. We give every three hours from 6 a.m. until midnight. We stop giving food only between midnight to 6 o'clock in the morning. The formulation and amount of food depends on theory of shrimp size and growth stage. Mr. Atasit emphasized that don't feed shrimp arbitrarily because overfed food will be waste and pollution in water. He also used microorganism to neutralize water quality once a day. To mix microorganism solution, he used molasses mixed with PM10, which is a type of microorganism given by fishery ministry. 
let microorganisms grow and expand in 10 hours before rinsing into pond. ไม่ใช่ใช่ไม่ใช่ใช่ไม่ใช่ใช่ไม่ใช่ใช่ไม่ใช่ใช่ไม่ใช่ใช่ไม่ใช่ใช่ไม่ใช่ใช่ไม่